So gastrointestinal stromal tumors or GIST are a uncommon sarcoma arising about 6,000 times per year in the U.S. We know that the vast majority of them are driven by KIT or PDGFRA mutations. And so we've made a tremendous progress over the last 20 years using inhibitors. And now we have a first line therapy, imatinib, second line therapy, sunitinib, third line therapy, regorafenib, and most recently fourth line therapy, repretinib. We in the preclinical development of repretinib, it was noted that repretinib had superior activity in test tubes or cell lines against the relevant resistance mutations compared with sunitinib. So we hypothesized that we could take this better tolerated agent from the fourth line and move it up to the second line. So we had a randomized phase three study. It was open label sunitinib versus repretinib with the goal of trying to have a superior progression-free survival. Historically, the progression-free survival for second-line sunitinib was six months. In a phase one study of repretinib, we saw almost 11 months. So we were confident going in that it would be a positive study. Unfortunately, the results did not match that, even though numerically the progression-free survival with repretinib was 8.3 months versus seven months for sunitinib, that was not statistically significant. Um, so that was disappointing because it, it is a superiority design trial. We did do you know, safety assessments and quality of life, and we did see that the safety and tolerability of repretinib was better than sunitinib and patient reported outcomes of skin toxicity or their ability to work or do leisure activities was better with repretinib than sunitinib, but those were you know, secondary endpoints, not the primary endpoint. So we remain disappointed in the outcome because the better tolerated agent was not superior. We're still trying to analyze using circulating tumor DNA and other biomarkers to determine if there is a, a subgroup that would benefit from second-line repretinib.